Hey guys, and welcome back to a Blue Stinger. When we last left off, uh, we finally got back to Janine with the ID card that we needed. Uh, <laughs> uh, that we left for so long ago to actually find. We've finally come back and uh, giving her that. Um, so now, I guess we are going the actual main complex, the research complex, which apparently nobody seems to know anything about, which is kind of suspect, if you ask me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> I think she's cute. <laughs> I actually needed to cut that there. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. Okay, so. <laughs> that, that is a very lovely picture of dogs that um, Janine has around her neck. That kind of looks like a, a stock image of him. Oh, God, I mean, does the guy ever fucking smile? You know what I'm saying? Um, so, Janine is longingly looking at... Uh, oh, God. Oh, shit. I remember this place. Longingly looking at that picture of dogs. For some reason in her locket. Uh, not really sure why she has a locket of dogs around her neck. Um, there's definitely some kind of history going on there. And <laughs> dogs is just being, well, dogs. <laughs> what a bitch! Ah, uh, don't ever change, dogs. Don't ever change. <laughs> right. I can't believe we're this far into the game and we still don't have, like, uh, a better weapon. Now, these laser things suck. They suck so much donkey penis. And there's nothing you can do about them. You can't shoot them. Sadly. Uh, they just are what they are. We can't do anything in here. Really? Well, that blows. No matter. So, we've got a door there. We've got two doors here by these satellite dish doohickeys. And we can continue forwards. God damn. You know, these lasers, man. Seriously, these lasers. These lasers suck so much. Uh, I wish we could destroy them. But I'm pretty... Oh, hey, big fella. Didn't see you there, even though I should have known you were there. Jesus Christ. You're just chopping bits off him. Yeah, I know you're a little bit pissed off, Elliot, but damn, bro. Sideswipe that motherfucker. Right, we got this dangly thing on the wall here, or on the ceiling. These things are pretty rough, as far as I can remember. They spit acid at us. I don't think they respawn. Uh, but they are pretty nasty bastards if we get close. Uh, right, let's have a have a drink. Damn. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> oh, dogs, you're the hero we all needed. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny about dogs and Elliot as well? Uh, if you look at them, have you noticed that Elliot's like blue? And dogs is like a yellowy orange. You know, I was thinking about this at work. Probably too much, actually. Uh, I do think about video games way too much at work. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, I don't mind if I do. They kind of look like Sonic and Tails. Like, if we actually got a animated, son uh, a non-animated, I should say a live-action uh, Sonic and Tails film, where, you know, Sonic and Tails were actually played as humans, I could imagine something like Elliot and Dogs. I think that's quite funny. Not like the Sonic film that we've had recently, which actually I did enjoy. Me and the missus went and watched it in the cinema, and, uh, I mean, she didn't quite look as impressed as I did, but she's not really a old-school Sega fan like I am. Uh, you know. Uh, that's a little bit, uh, she's a little bit too young for that, you know. Um, but yeah, it, it tickled me in all the right places. I actually did enjoy it. No, it wasn't, you know, Schindler's List or, or I don't know, 
The Godfather, but it was a good film. It was fun. Oh, nice. Hey, we found another bank card. You know what that means? That means we're going to go back to the bank at some point. Cheers, buddy. Cheers for the money. Cheers for the money, buddy. All right, let's keep pressing on forwards. Now, this place is also quite the minefield. Oh, God, we've got two. Two guys here. Well, that's okay. You know what? Let's get the big man out. Come yeah, man. What a bitch. Uh, no, we're pushing the wrong button. That's how long it's been since I've played this game. I'm getting wrecked. Oh, dogs. Dogs. Dogs, my dude. Right, there we go. Get that fucking size 11. Earning the money, man. There we go. Look at that. That's it, dogs. Sometimes, dogs, you just got to kick an ass or two. You know what I'm saying? Get that aggression out other ways. You don't even have to punch walls or, you know, scream into pillows. I mean, we've got monsters to kick in the face, which is pretty cool. Uh, do we actually have any food? Uh, that's literally all we have. I mean, we might as well chow down some of these little ones, I guess. Yeah, I mean, these little houses, which apparently heal tiny, tiny quantities of health, are actually really not that bad, you know. Perfect for when you've been kicking ass or two. Alright, let's go, Mr. Dogs. We're going to be outside. We're outside again. God damn it. I don't like being outside. I don't like these lasers, man. Why would there be lasers here? The lasers make no sense. Ah, I just got our ass fucking annihilated again. Ah. Yeah, another one of these radar rooms that doesn't have anything in. I, we really should be able to destroy those lasers or something. They are quite difficult to dodge. Ah, you son of a fucking bitch. <sighs> now, pretty soon, from my very aged memory, I'm pretty sure... Oh, don't mind if I do. I was going to say, we're going to have a save point, and I think... We're actually going to come up to a boss. Uh, and I think when we fight this particular boss... Gotcha! gotcha! Oh, I forgot uh, dogs made a different sound when you actually saved. Gotcha! Um, we're actually going to get the Gatling gun for free. So, you know... Oh, if I, if I, you know, maybe we should be Elliot here, but... Ah, oh, Jesus... These are just literally here, just to leech your health. It's the only reason these things are here. And yes, that's right. We actually can't go this way yet. Because of course we need to turn the power on. Yep, yep. Oh my god. Evasive maneuvers, Elliot. Evasive maneuvers, my dude. Ah, shit. Seriously. Ah, oh. could these things be any more irritating? Now, uh, we can't go that way. Yeah, we can't actually even aim at these things. Though there was like a little fork in the road, and we took the wrong turn. Uh, the the, the it, 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 we took the wrong turning because you know, of course, we did. <laughs> Ah, uh, there's a big fella over there. Alright, big boy. You know what? Hand-to-hand's fun and all. But, let's step it up a... A notch, shall we? Ooh, take some of that. Huh? Huh? What do you think of that? How about some more? Ooh, his head fell off. And his uh, wallet exploded. I like it when the wallets explode. Make it rain, baby. All right, Elliot. Let's go. Uh, let's go loot these corpses. Not a bad place to harvest some cash, actually. I suppose. Well, I don't know, man. I mean, they're not exactly. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how much we actually do get from that. Let's go. You know, the shotgun's fun. We haven't really used it much. I'm pretty sure in my original LP of this game. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I haven't watched it. Uh, I'm pretty sure we actually used the shotgun a lot more 
Oh, right in the chest. Let's open up that cavity. Oof. Swallow that, mate. Yes, gargle up those coins for daddy. Lovely. Right, what have we got here? Daddy Elliot is, is, is a happy man. Oh. Who doesn't like making it rain, honestly? You've got to enjoy the simple pleasures in life, you know. I mean, if you're going to be stuck in this kind of situation with monsters and vending machines that, that, that you know, supply grenade launchers and automatic shotguns, then you might as well enjoy yourself, right? I mean, if I was in this situation where I could go up to a vending machine and, and buy, like, a Gatling gun and I had a best mate, like, in my pocket that I could summon at any point where I needed a, a, a breather and I could shoot massive monster things that exploded into coins and drink as many energy drinks as, as I could possibly want. I would, you know, have a pretty good time. That actually sounds like a wicked dream, to be honest. You know, sometimes when you have a nightmare, um, and I, I don't know, I say nightmare loosely, but you know, like a horror dream. Um, but it's, a, it's actually like a dream that you really enjoy. You wake up and think, oh, fuck my ass, that was rad. I actually had a dream like that, not, mm, actually, yeah, years ago, thinking about it, where I was a colonial marine, um, and it, it was aliens, and there's a whole squad of us, and one by one we were getting picked off, and we was all dying, uh, and it should have been terrifying, and I remember, um, the, kind of towards the end of the dream, I was with this one female, like, marine left, me and her, and I remember pulling the pin out of a grenade and going up a... a, a an elevator to certain death because um, she was dying I think I can't remember everyone else was dead I had had this alien blood all over me and half my arm had melted I remember going up this elevator with a grenade and I, I woke up I don't know what actually happened but I woke up and I was like man that was fucking cool that was awesome I want a video game like that you know and then we got aliens colonial marines which was well, that's certainly a thing, you know. All right, not bad. Although we did get, we did get, um, what was that alien game? That survival horror one that came out recently-ish. Uh, alien Isolation, that was a good game. Uh, I would have preferred it if you could actually kill the aliens, you know. Make the aliens really fragile, but maybe incredibly difficult to kill. Because xenomorphs are very fragile creatures. They can be killed. They can be killed really easily with conventional weapons. <laughs> they're hard, and they're fast, and they're clever, and they're cunning as all hell. Um, but yeah, make it so you can kill them, and you have an actual chance. Oh, this is the boss I was thinking about. Hey, matey. But that game is awesome. Does this actually... No. Elliot, it would help if you aimed. You know? Yeah, he's fairly tough. He, you know, he's got a little bit of armor to him. But we have a secret weapon for this guy. You alright, dogs? Yes. Remember that that, uh, that weapon we bought you? Uh, oh, you got the railgun as well. Let's give him some hot slugs in the face. Ooh, okay, it doesn't really like the hot slugs. It's not really a Mark 10 Mac cannon from Halo, but you know, I was expecting it to do a little bit more than nothing. But hey, okay, that's fine. You know what you know what else you know what else Dogs has got in his back pocket. You know what he's got. Yes, he has this. Now can we kind of get some distance from this guy? We can. Right, swallow this. Ooh. Okay, that, uh... Uh-huh, that, uh... <clears throat> didn't really do the damage I thought it would. Ooh. That hurt it, and I'm not 100% sure why that did more damage. But it did. Wow, look at that thing. Oof. Yeah. Suck on that. You ugly motherfucker. 
Well, okay, so the first shot kind of did very little. The second shot really rocked his world. And the third shot, well, the third shot took him to the, the cannery in the sky. So he looks like a crab, you know. I can hear tentacles. Hmm. I don't really want to play with those. All right, Elliot. Your time to shine. Yeah, that rocket launcher is savage, man. Big fan of that. It kind of chomps in through the ammo here, too. But that's okay. Yeah, we got a good amount of cash now. Well, ooh. Wow, she died with the minigun. I mean, the minigun's bigger than she is. So, maybe she had trouble holding this thing. Yeah. Uh, she had three boxes of rounds for it. Oh, maybe, maybe she tried to pick it up and it crushed her. I mean, oof. I mean, Elliot's not strong enough for it. This is dog's baby. This is now the minigun. Uh, in... <sighs> it should be better than it actually is. You get a shit ton of ammo for it. And it is cool. So it's the MG91 uh, Gatlinger. Gatlinger. Oof. This helicopter gun requires a lot of upper body strength to hold, aim, and aim. It can shoot several hundred rounds in just a few seconds. Yeah, well, maybe not several hundred in just a few seconds, but it can shoot a lot. It's a very fun weapon, but... It has a massive flaw with it, which I... There is a way around it. But I don't like the way it's implemented. I love the weapon. I do. It's fantastic. And as a wee little lad, it was my favourite weapon in the game. Because I was obsessed with Gatling guns. Me and my buddy were. Uh, me and Rich. Uh, we always... were two, two weapons we always look forward to in games. Flamethrowers and miniguns. Uh, the minigun obsession came from our love of Terminator 2. Because, you know. And our flamethrower obsession obviously came from, well, uh, aliens. Oh, oh my. I'm sure we need to pick something up off this dude. Shouldn't it come up saying, the monster was holding something? Um, because it's not an optional boss. Uh, yeah, so if you just tap the button, it works okay. If you hold the button down, yeah, dogs kind of just like sprays it around. And yeah, it's not great because of that. Where I know there's somewhere else we're meant to be going, or somewhere something else we're meant to be doing. I know there is. Hmm. Why do I always record these when I'm tired from work? God damn it, Titan, you fool! I'm sure we'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm sure there's a door somewhere or some bullshit like that. Hmm. Or oh, maybe she has like a key card. Ha. Huh. Well, tickle me confused. One second, guys. I am going to work this out. Okay, so on close to inspection, I've been stupid. We've gone the wrong way. Which isn't the end of the world. We've just yeah. kind of possibly um, killed a boss before we actually had to kill the boss so hey I mean we're making we're making the late game uh, a little bit easier for us and we've already got the Gatling gun which is fantastic uh, I guess you know it's not the best weapon in the world unfortunately but you know it's okay I'm pretty sure ammo for it is fairly expensive and to be honest now we've got it in our back pocket like we could actually use it now, we are going to have to go all the way back to the bank at some point, but I don't think 
Ah, shit. I don't think we have to worry about that just yet, which is good. So, we're on the run road. Uh, right, so we come back through there. We need to go through... Right, okay. We need to go through this door. Wait, hang on. Is it this door that we're meant to be going through? No, we're meant to be going through that door over there. Oh, these things suck. Oh, these things suck. These things suck. They suck so bad. Not a fan of these at all. And you know what, sir? You know what, sir? I'm going to give you the biggest wake-up call of your life. I'm going to give you the last wake-up call of your life as well. There we go. Just tap the button. That's the most efficient use of ammo as well. Tap it. Just tap that trigger. And that stops dogs waving it around like a moron as well. So, you know, two birds, one stone. Okay, so now this is where things were getting a little bit funky. Ah, uh, yeah. Right. Ah, uh, god damn it. And we're injured because, of course, we are. Man, I hate these guns. Man, I hate these guns so much. Oh, they're so irritating. Hmm. So, we're about to go. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. Got you. So, we're about to go into here. And you can see that we really do need these health items because... I mean, you can obviously avoid these lasers, but they're really bloody hard to avoid. I mean, I could probably spend a bit of time and get used to their pattern. I'm pretty sure if you just zigzag it, uh, most of the time you're okay. But it's just easier, to be honest, if we just like bullshit our way through it. Now, if you use the Gatling gun like this, it's really good. And look how much ammo we get for it as well. We haven't, like, even emptied... Uh, well, we've emptied about a quarter of a drum for this thing, which is nice. Now, I can't remember how much the ammo for this gun actually is. I don't think it's that expensive. Oh, it is expensive, but if you work out how much you actually get for your money, I'm pretty sure it's a good buy. Right, okay. Oh, shit. Shit. Yep. Yeah, ow. That's what we're heading for. We're heading for that massive, great big... Ah, oh, look at these lasers. We're heading for that massive, great big... Explodey fuel tank. Did I say explodey fuel tank? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, God. Come on, dogs. That's it, buddy. That's it. That's it. No... So we can't go through there without electricity. Is that like a little crappy door? God damn. Fucking laser things. Right. I need electricity. I'm definitely missing something here, guys. Uh, I don't know if I got stuck here last time. Uh, yes. So, ah, right. Okay, that's really hard to see because of the graphics. But there's a little ledge leading up here. God damn it. Yeah, that doesn't actually look like a, <laughs> a ledge. It looks like part of the wall. But hey, there we go. Um, uh, uh, that was... Very odd. But we'll roll with it. Okay. Now, before we head in, let's have a little scooch around the outside. See if we can find any goodies. Pretty sure there's goodies. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's goodies. See, I do remember this. Now, as far as I can remember, you can fall off there. Cue the spoopy music. Uh, it's history. We can't go any further. Don't give up so easily. Yeah. 
Gotta be honest. There's the fuel tank card. There's the life hook. And then there's another life hook. Now, I'm pretty sure when I... Ooh, fuck my ass. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I just, had, I just gave birth. Um, when I was a kid, I didn't realize what those life hooks did. They're actually very useful. Because there's a lot of places in this game. Well, actually, that's a lie. There's not many places in this game. There's a few places in this game where you can fall off cliffs. Now, in this game, what happens when you fall off a cliff or fall down a hole? Uh, you die. Game over, man. Game over. But with a life hook, um, it actually respawns you where you were. So... They're very useful items. And look at that door. You can kind of tell that you're really not meant to go through there. Uh, okay. So let's head upstairs. Let's use this big gaping ladder that's obviously here for reasons. And we're kind of almost out of time as well. Because I got lost. Which is bad. Because we really might run out of videos for this. Use the Warning. Personnel without level 1 pyrotechnic clearance are not allowed beyond this point. Intake system. This system takes air from the top level of the tank to avoid corrosion. Do not expose to heat. Uh. System lock. Currently, the system is not engaged. Please remove the lock cap from an intake hole. Uh. Do not expose to heat, you say? Well... I am almost positive we will not do anything, any such thing. And level one pyrotechnics, you say? Well, <laughs> I'm glad you asked. We know a thing about booms. We know about rockets and flamethrowers and uh, life hooks. Oh boy. Um, we have anything over here? We do not have anything over here. But that is where we need to go. Well, we're not allowed to destroy this stuff, it says. Do not expose it to heat. Uh, I can't remember how we do this now. There we go. Liberal use of uh, explosives. Or firepower, I should say. Uh, I think now we have to go fiddle with some buttons. And the computer's going to be like, um, fire? And we're going to be like, aye, lad. And then we're going to go for an adventure. An adventure to the moon. Almost. Well, maybe not quite the moon, but, you know, I'm pretty sure we get in, uh, in grasping distance of it. I mean, it's an interesting uh, mode of travel. Let's be fair. I wouldn't say it's safe, but then there's anything safe. Warning. Personnel without level 1 pyrotechnic clearance are not allowed beyond this point. Intake system. This system takes air from the top level of the tank to avoid corrosion. Do not expose to nope. heat. Nope. Cool as a cucumber up there. Like to activate the intake system? E yes. Emergency. 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 First degree warning. Intake system is on fire. Tank will explode momentarily. Well, that's not fantastic. Um, let's get a wiggle on, shall we? Yes. We're going to need to be Elliot. Elliot's going to have to carry dogs for a while. And this might just be the boost we need. And this sound is absolutely deafening. Come on, Elliot. Don't fear the Reaper. That's the dumbest thing I've seen for a while. It's deliciously stupid. And look at that, there's no fanfare, nothing. Not like, holy shit, we're actually not in bits. 
Uh, my organs are still inside my body. I did not get totally and utterly vaporized. They don't really care. You know, uh, all in a day's work for these guys, I guess. I hope whatever we destroyed was good. There's still a bit of something up there. Not really sure what that is, but hey, I mean, I, I hope it's something good. But sadly, we're out of time. Um, we did have an explosive re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. And when we come back, we're going to brush off our, our singed britches and continue to the power plant. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.